So about like five months ago, I was just going, you know, doing my normal thing, scrolling through YouTube's um, recommended page when it, I don't know where I got suggested this band TV shows iceberg explained basically. I was definitely interested and fairly enjoyed it. So I was wondering myself, what if I came to this idea to do Monster Jam? Now I've been wanting to do this since June of like last year. And now finally, like six months later, I'm finally getting to this. And I decided, let's take this up a notch. How about what are some moments or just things in Monster Jam that were either got canceled, uh, cut, censored, or banned? Combine all together to make this. The canceled, cut, censored slash banned monster jam iceberg explain god that really rolls off the top but yeah here it is my first monster jam iceberg explained so anyways if you guys don't know what an iceberg is it's basically kind of like you know uh, sort of a tier list but um it's where more well-known stuff is put up top and lesser known stuff is put at the bottom this is not the best iceberg, I will tell you. It was customly done by stuff, and it wasn't even done, like, the best way possible. On the actual iceberg, like, site, it was just edited in, like, my by me. So, it was really, it was pretty bad. But ultimately, thank God, I was able to get this finished. And, uh, here we go. This has been something I wanted to do for, for, like, over half a year now, and now I'm finally getting to it. Anyways, let's get into Tier 1. Two Extreme Racing and Monster Jam 4x4. So, originally, Two Extreme Racing and a couple of other trucks were supposed to be in Monster Jam 4x4. And it's even shown on the back of the uh, cover of the game that Bounty Hunter is, um, I believe, uh, was supposed to be in the game. They were in the beta, but were cut likely due to the milestone uh motorsports uh deal that they still had going on at the time since you know two extreme racing were independent the thing though is that they are actually still exist in the beta and you can play if you know how to mod the game files you can actually play with them in game along with a couple of other trucks like wolf like the marvel trucks wolverine spider-man hulk i believe and uh, a couple of other trucks Medusa Chrome. So this is originally going to be a part of like, you know, Medusa's farewell tour. But um, besides the actual diecast that did release, this was actually originally um, supposed to run in real life as the Medusa uh, farewell. But once Medusa got kicked out by Feld, um, the trucks, uh, I think the diecasts were discontinued, I'm pretty sure. And... Um, and the truck never came to fruition. European airing freestyles. So this is just basically just uh, basically uh, letting know that sometimes not all the European airings freestyles are in order, or some of the freestyles are cut from editing. There's actually a couple that have been cut, like uh, King Crunch from Minneapolis 2009 and Rap Attack from Indianapolis 2007. Uh, there may be more freestyles that got cut at some point, but um, it, I haven't really been able to dig up any others other than those two. Captain's Curse, World Finals 10. So, at World Finals 10, in the final round of racing, Captain's Curse was going up against Tommen's Maximum Destruction. However, in going down... Uh, all the way from Thunder Alley down the straight, Alex Blacklow realized he had lost brakes instead of trying to run head on the wall, which in hindsight may have been maybe less worse. I don't know what would have been worse, whether rolling it or running into the wall. Um, basically, roll the truck, and it would have worked had the rear, one of the rear wheels not caught the ground and carried him into the stands. And um, it was cut originally from America, all American TV type things from Speed, um, whenever they have it on the memberships and DVDs. However, on CBS, they did a horrible cover-up job that clearly show images or just video of what had happened in the background. However, it was shown on Europe, 
and it sometimes it gets discovered and stuff other people but it never got taken down by fell and it been up there since like 2008 or 2000 or like 2009 because world phone sim was 2009 since like 2009 since it first aired in europe there's a couple of other um moments from world finals 10 that will be shown and it's all due to one incident that happened earlier that year all-star challenge 2020 so originally what was supposed to be the final show in sam boyd stadium was to be the all-star challenge in 2020 zombie versus hunter and basically it was gonna be probably like trucks that got turned to zombies versus ones that were hunters however it got canceled because of some type of other horrifying disease that happened in the world coronavirus So now we're at tier two, World Finals 21. So originally, like we all know, World Finals 21 was supposed to be obviously in Orlando in 2020, in like early May of 2020. However, the same thing that got the All-Star uh, Challenge canceled, World Finals 21 got canceled for those exact same reasons. However, it was run again in 2022, but it was a lot longer than it should have been. Maybe. Spitfire Truck. This will play an even bigger role later on this list, but the Spitfire Moss truck is supposed to be a truck that originally ran, it was supposed to debut in middle of 2008, and its debut was at World Finals 9, but due to legal issues, it got instantly discontinued, although they changed to Spitfire Monster truck, but eventually got changed to Dragon's Breath. However, a bigger reason of why, I'll explain a little further down this iceberg. He, man... Heyman was a planned truck for 2004, however, it didn't work out because, obviously, copyright. But a diecast did get made of it, and this is a concept for it, although it never made it through. World Finals 2 Freestyles. Our first World Finals thing to have gotten cut officially of runs that um, are not known, well, actually, probably second, are World Finals 2 Freestyles. From DVD specifically, although they are viewable from the pay-per-view version of the um, World Final, Sudden Impact and Destroyer had their runs cut um, from the freestyle. Although um, they're still, view of course, viewable on the pay-per-view, they're not seen on the uh, DVD though. Pontiac 2006, one of the craziest and overall just dangerous shows of two that of Moshim really ever, rather than just 2006, was Pontiac 2006. A couple of wild incidents happened, injuries happened, but originally in Pontiac 2006 and in the racing portion, as it was shown, the broker um, was a part of the field. However, um, and, and uh, it's freestyle and getting cut from speed probably because he barely did anything he scored a 13 and there's footage of it rolling over and taz 91 himself actually confirmed that was shown in europe so we'll see about that however the broadcast is currently lost originally this was it ended up being wrong but a while ago well, not long ago it was confirmed that the freestyle was shown, although it was shown in probably the least worst angle. Stone Crusher drivers Gary Wiggins actually did a sky wheelie and lay on the back so hard it broke his back. Now, originally, it was thought really by Eric Fording himself that um, it was not shown on speed. It was cut from speed, but it wasn't, although there are obviously other angles that captured it than what uh, the angle that they showed was and they cut really almost all aftermath afterwards and only showed the score from stone crushers it's uh, it's likely if they did air stone crushers in europe that they definitely would have shown another angle of the incident holiday hauler so holiday hauler was a target exclusive truck that ran in the uh, holiday season of 2011 However, it has since become really one of the rare trucks. Although, there still sometimes you can snipe them. There was originally supposed to have a tree on the back, a Christmas tree. And it was definitely a little weird and interesting, but ultimately got cut from the final project. However, the holiday hollow trucks have become some of the rarest trucks on the market. Although, one of these just sold for like a hundred and like sixty something bucks. So... 
yeah, they're still out there. Very few and far in between. You may find these like once in like two, three years, maybe. Also, I have the psych history. Told you. Kid Rock. So Kid Rock's truck was originally supposed to be a monster truck, I think like 2003 or 2004. But um, it got canceled because, well, probably obvious reasons. And that Kid Rock's content is not always the most like appropriate, like most singers' songs. There's other canceled trucks, but this is one that's just so obscure that most people don't know about it. World Finals 9 Encore. So the World Finals 9 Encore was, a, was to debut two brand new trucks, Backwards Bob and Spitfire. However, it was not aired due to the Spitfire controversy and the lawsuit that got filed by a third party, some unknown third party, the two fell. Ultimately, they changed it to Spitfire Monster Truck, but then it just went to Dragon's Breath. And ultimately, the encore has never been aired or released. However, there is obvious uh, footage that shows that this was recorded by Feld, and has even been shown recently in a um, video of Inside Monster Jam, an angle that got shown backwards. Bob, although almost no footage of Spitfire is recognized or shown, it is likely never to be revealed, and probably has either got destroyed or got locked away and likely to never view or duplicate and destroy. But other trucks like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and e Maximum Destruction came out. However, you know, it just didn't go that well. Pirate's Curse. So the original, so this was an absolutely insane and horrifying concept for the original Pirate's Curse. Thank God this did not become the official, like, concept for it because i don't know if i could actually even look at it that's how bad this thing looks i know there are other pirates Chris doesn't look good at all but this looks a thousand times uglier and worse so that guy was never made tier three world finals 10 censored moments so this so i earlier talked about captain's curse incident however there are two other incidents that got uh censored um by a monster jam Except these ones were in the freestyles and they used the onboard cameras. Nitro Circuses and Great Diggers. Nitro Circus originally ended up on top, uh, the back end of the truck ended up on top of the wall and uh, they just used the onboard. However, there's an alternate angle that was originally shown in Crash Bandit 6. And uh, also in Europe, it had been shown there as well. And it had been on the internet since, like, it first got aired, uh, along with the Captain's Curse. However, most people didn't know about this until, like, 2022, uh, when the Air European Airlines got released, before finally an angle fish came up. Gravedigger Street Style was also cut from um, the uh, broadcast, the all-DVDs and all-American things of DVD it was uh they used the onboard until it got off however in europe once again it was shown and uh it landed on top although the actual audio from the european airings was not originally um sh uh, heard of until afterwards in 2022 but yeah indianapolis 2008 this is more well known of a tv fall through it's rare to see tv throw throughs that were originally supposed to be aired but Indianapolis 2008 was to be the last show at the RCA Dome. Well, actually, it was known as the Hoosier Dome at the time, although we know that it's RCA Dome. It was uh, originally supposed to be aired on speed, but because around the USHRA got cut, they originally, I think, planned on actually trying to air it on speed, but then they wanted to do around the USHRA, but because around the USHRA fell through, because, you know, the USHRA name had come down from Fallout Motorsports, um, they had to cut the whole show out altogether. And it was aired in Europe and recently got recovered. Actually, I have a whole video, uh, the full show aired on YouTube, as well as other sites like Daily Motion and in the archives. Beware of the Junkyard Dog. So Beware of the Junkyard Dog was originally supposed to be a planned truck for like 2004 or 5, but got scrapped 
However, this concept was used uh, to eventually create Beware of the Junkyard Dog, Monster Mutt Junkyard Dog, um, which was used by J Dustin Brown in 2016. Inferno Diecast. One of the rarest diecasts of all time is the Inferno diecast. Originally, it was planned uh, to be uh, a full on diecast that got released, kind of like what Inferno looks like, or not Inferno, Nitro Machine. They look like the exact same. However, um, due to 9 11 um, it, and be it coming out of a truck of Inferno, um, probably would be bad timing, so they changed it to Flash Fire. However, prototypes were made of this and they've become rare and exclusive. And I mean, ultra rare. Like, no one is, other than like a very famous creator who likely on, uh, on the internet, like Brian Z. Patton, who likely worked for Hot Wheels at the time, actually has this trick. No one else does. World Finals 3 Encore. World Finals 3 Encore was not a Grave Digger 20th anniversary, rather it was five trucks. I believe it was Wolverine, Bulldozer, Grave Digger, Team Mints, and I think maybe like Blacksmith? I don't know. It was, one, it was five trucks. Um, but they did a five truck freestyle. There are a few photos that can be shown, and there's a small little bit of video, but... Unlike World Finals 2, where they saved the whole encore, this was for the pay-per-view. They ended it before the encore even started. And it's likely, it was likely that likely got recorded from the ISO cameras, but it's likely that they may not even exist anymore, since this was like 20 years ago. World Finals 3 Freestyles. So rather not just freestyles, just one freestyle. Uh, Bulldozer came out and did a wheelie and then like immediately hit one of the cars and then rolled over and just got scored of A. So it's not like you're missing much, but this is cut from the DVD portion, although it was shown on pay-per-view, like World Finals 2's. Bret Hart. So originally, uh, whenever the wrestling invasion of Monster Truck Storm and Fell created Sting, Goldberg, um... I know there was a Star Truck, uh, but oh yeah, NWO and Med not kind of the Medusa truck. There was actually supposed to be another one, the Hitman Bret Hart truck, originally supposed to come through. However, it never came to fruition. It eventually became a second steam truck, driven by I believe Tony Farrell. May he rest in peace. Hamilton twenty twenty one. So back whenever, you know, this coronavirus BS is still going on, um, well, it still is going on, but back in 2021 when it was still, a, uh, still kind of feared upon, Mosham originally had plans to go to Edmonton, or I think rather Hamilton, Canada in uh, 2021 and around October, however, due to uh, still Canada having major laws under pass about uh, coronavirus stuff, uh, Mosham had to cancel an event. There's other cancel Mosham shows, um, that'll be layered down this iceberg. So we are officially halfway through this iceberg. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's time for tier three. Medusa farewell tour truck. So this is the actual diecast version of the a diecast version of a um a pink farewell tour Medusa. Now originally this was thought to be released by mistake. However, Fell had done this. On purpose, although these would definitely be fairly rare in itself to start. However, once Fell kicked Medusa a Monster Jam, they discontinued these and they've become very, 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 very rare. Like some of the rare trucks of all time. Saudi Arabia censorship. So, when Monster Jam first went to Saudi Arabia in 2017, yes, that is real, they may have had to make a lot of cuts and censors and banishments. Superman ended up making a rare appearance. A couple of other trucks weren't affected by this, although not due to legal purposes. Chad Tingler had to drive Mosma, which, while Chad Tingler was driving it, they prohibited any females from driving. Which, I mean, come on. That literally makes y'all look racist. But a bigger thing, though, what happened is trucks like Mohawk Warrior ended up changing from black to purple. Yes, that was legit. That wasn't just the diecast. It did run in real life. Uh, Blue Thunder had the lightning taken off, so it was just like 
blue. It wasn't had any thunder on it. Max D ended up having to make a red, running the red for the first time. And I know there was another truck. I think Dragon may have taken off horn. They definitely made changes to Dragon. I don't remember what it was. But then they also banned Grave Digger. Really? Really? Y'all got rid of Max? Y'all get Max D, but got rid of Grave Digger? Sounds like there's bias in uh, Saudi Arabia. Also, that's just stupid. Anyways, the show, like, was very controversial for all those reasons. And eventually, they in 2019, they did allow Gravedigger and had a little bit more easing. But this is definitely still a pretty big failure for Moss Jam. World Finals 5 Freestyles. So back when World Finals 5 was going on, yes, one of the worst World Finals Freestyles of all time. One of the worst World Finals Freestyles ever. Um, there were two runs that got cut that I've not even seen really per, uh, so like kind of on air and or eating like that. It was during the five second rule or like not, not the five second rule, but the 30 second rule, uh, where if a truck rolled over early enough, they would end up getting redone. And a couple of trucks were shown that. However, Suzuki and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, uh, the runs were cut, um, likely just to fit in the TV slot. However, on DVD, they were also were not shown and have not resurfaced. Well, at least Team Suzuki's hasn't. Although a photo of Team Suzuki exists, exists, that's all for Team Suzuki. Although I remember hearing audio on one of Dave Strickler's um, videos of like Team Suzuki, which shows that there may the Team Suzuki's run may have actually existed before the memberships came and took it down. There's no way I can confirm this, but I'll have to confirm if it is true or not after doing this video. However, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles run, or what there was of it, does, is actually currently on YouTube, at least from what I've known of. And it tried to go over the bus, but they immediately popped tire and rolled back over it. Monsters on Main Street 2010. So originally, Monsters on Main Street was a thing that went off from 2006 to 2008. Eight, I believe, maybe 2009, but originally there was a 2010 version where it'd be an F-150 that would run um, in the competition of that would be given away. However, it was canceled due to Ford sponsorship running out and them not resigning with Monster Jam in 2010. Air Force Afterburner Urban Assault. So originally... Air Force Afterburner and Urban Assault was supposed to have a clip um, in the movies. However, when you pop the video, you have, cannot see him. I originally thought this was, there was something wrong with the game, like a weird glitch or something wrong with the game. But no, they cut his video from the game. All the reason, the true reason is, an un, is unknown. It's widely, specul widely speculated, among myself and many others, that it was likely due to the Orlando 2007 fire incident, which is seen still in the menu screen. World Finals 1's freestyle. Probably one of the most famous cut freestyle portions of all time have been the World Finals 1 freestyles that were cut. Ultimately, three runs got cut. Um, first one was Prowlers, which, as you see on the photo, had gotten stuck after doing attempting a wheelie, and it got stuck on the containers and could not get back off. The video of that actually does still exist. There are a few videos of Prowlers run that does exist, and it was likely the first one to go out. And that went up was originally um, Rap Toys Freestyle, if you can even call it that, where you ran down Thunder Alley and immediately blew an engine. Um... Ultimately, it was a four he got scored, so technically, I guess it did count. I don't know. It was weird. However, a um, video of it did surface of what ended up happening as it ran out Thunder Alley, and the World Finals 2 pay-per-view uh, sped up. However, the third one is this Nitro Machine, which came out very late, actually, like I think, third to last truck before Goldberg and Gravedigger. Um, did likely either a sky wheelie or a jump maybe or somewhere it hit the centerpiece and then immediately rolled over and broke the front end off the damage misleads you into thinking he did something Ch uh, Charlie Pawkin did something else but um, what actually ended up happening though is uh, he ended up doing that and it rolled over now for the longest time 
no photo of the actual incident happened, although now there is a couple photos that do exist of Nitro Machines run, although no video footage has been found. World Final 13, Ryan Anderson. So what this is really referring to is the Great Year 20th or 30th anniversary uh, encore where four of the Great Deer drivers went up to try and meet together. And right as one of the trucks was about to land right on the top of the itself on the dirt ground, uh, they cut away to the other angle. The reason why was because Ryan Anderson actually sustained a neck injury after landing on the uh, bottom of the truck or on the absolute, on the head of the truck, and ultimately they cut away right as it was about to happen. Ultimately, the footage from the angle has still not surfaced to this day, and it's likely never to be. Bounty Hunter Freestyle 2000. So, in 2000, back when Maltzo Sports and Monster Jam had the rivalry, and many uh, trucks got cut from TV appearances like Executioner, Equalizer, um, and uh, and Paul Schaefer's trucks, then um, Bounty Hunter had a freestyle in 2000 um, where its freestyle got cut from... Um, from the teen inversion, even though its score was shown in tw as a 28, the video is nowhere to be found. In fact, only a slight little snippet of its run actually exists. So yeah, that's about all that um that is known to exist. And it's likely, Feld likely recorded it, but still, it's like very, very weird. Now we're down to tier number four. So go, going long, but we're getting close to the end. So here we go. Tier five. So originally, the Gravedigger roller coaster was a planned thing that was supposed to be made somewhere in like Ohio. Yes, Ohio. But um, it got canceled likely fairly early into uh, development. But yeah, it was so originally planned for the game. World Finals 10 Encore. So World Finals 10 Encore is one of those that just kind of is just what really happened. Although the Bat Max D Black Flip audio from what would likely have been aired, no other than that, there's no other footage that exists. Although there are a few of them that show like the post uh, parade of trucks that were not in the field. It, others were just it was all cut likely because it just was meant who had almost nothing true me of it still was probably better than world finals um eight uh, 19 on core with how disastrous that went monster jam the movie no i'm not making this up this was a real thing that was originally planned around 2003 2004 that was supposed to be ran. And there was a partial filming, I'm pretty sure, of it. And there was possibly even a trailer that may have been made. However, in uh, 2003, the Marshall and plan to make a movie. Um, however, it got canceled because of Monster Month's poor showing in World Finals 4. Because that was originally what I was going to use. Recycle footage from World Finals 4. And Mossima was still likely to be the main star. Although in the photo, there is Grave Digger shown. So we really don't know what that could have been. But a family goes out and builds a monster truck. In this case, Mossima. And they compete um, with like a remote controller, I think it is. It sounds a little weird, but they go out and win the world finals. However, it was cut due to the sole purpose of Monster Mutt's freestyle. Which I will officially say is probably the worst freestyle in Monster Jam history. At least world finals wise. But yeah, the movie was never released and likely has been completely trashed. 92 Quick Draw. So 92 Quick Draw was supposed to be originally a truck, maybe a replacement for Gunslinger. However, whenever I think of it, Gunslinger is a lot better than this design. It's definitely weird and interesting, but so I prefer Gunslinger over it. However, there's no way it would ever survive the gun ban censorship of 2017. 
which I did forget to uh, add to this list, but yeah. I am doing a bonus as well because there's other stuff that I forgot uh, to add or was in a part of the channel. Shrek truck. So there is, this is very questionable and I don't even know if this was real or not, but originally there was supposed to be a Shrek truck. However, it was, uh, I don't even know if it made it even to a concept, but it was told that a Shrek truck was to exist or possibly be done. However, there's a couple of other trucks that originally were supposed to have a plan um, for this, but ultimately wasn't. Marvel Monsters Live. So Marvel Monsters uh, Live was a, uh, originally supposed to be uh, entire series of a show that um, um, was supposed to be run in 2012 where they featured like I think 16 or 20 Marvel trucks and it was actually supposed to be a storyline it was supposed to be scripted now whether that was supposed to be done with the AMCU no one knows however this thing is so insane and far out there that honestly it might do a video on this itself and it could have been an absolute disaster because of it being scripted. Which, scripting and monster trucking are two things that should not go together. Bugs Bunny. So, originally, Bugs Bunny was supposed to be the original truck that was made around probably time, the same time as the Taz and the Shrek truck. However, once again, it got cut uh, because... Probably Looney Tunes and stuff like that. But the trip, big the issue though that they went and deal with this though, or really of trying to find anything, this concept art is really all that is really well known to exist of this truck. That's it. That's all. So yeah. I hope you guys have been enjoying this iceberg. We're now down to tier six, the final tier. So here we go. World Final 8 Halftime Encore. Probably the most obscure and le very little known Monster Jam World Finals Encore is the Halftime Encore from World Finals 8. Yes, originally I think it was either in the middle of freestyle or after racing. Two Gravedigger trucks, I believe it was 16 and 14, came out and did donuts. Although I'm not sure whether or not Pablo Huffaker and Chad Tingler were actually driving the trucks. Um, it is obviously 14 and because of the Green Ghost Gravedigger, which is the only truck that ran, Gravedigger truck that ran the Green Ghost, and Pablo Huffakers, uh, because of the, uh, Red Shocks. Eventually, and hilariously enough, George Bellham came out and actually did donuts along with the Gravediggers, because he was the next one to go out. Ultimately, it's probably a good thing he did, because he would not be able to perform any in his freestyle, because the truck broke and he got shut off very early in his freestyle. Also, Dennis Anderson came down and joined him as well in this photo. Probably a pretty iconic moment, but it's likely that Thel didn't even record the free uh, the encore, just because really how not very entertaining that was. Jurassic Attack Black Truck. So originally, Jurassic Attack was supposed to have a be a have a all black version of it, uh, all of it uh, with the other couple black trucks, or rather, like complete like black trucks that were supposed to be released like around 2017 or something like that. But um, it got canceled. Not sure why. I don't think it's really well known, but Hot Wheels did cancel it. Houston 2010. So this was one, another show, and a very obscure show that was supposed to be aired on speed. Although the reason why it's down this low on the iceberg is that confusion just got sparked out of Moss Trucks Wiki, of course, that show 3 was supposed to be aired. However, in the same thing, show 1 was supposed to be aired. So really, it's unknown which one was supposed to be, although one of the Houston 2010 shows was supposed to be aired. So, yeah, this is coming from the wiki, so do not trust anything that comes from the Monster Truck wiki. Gravedigger Tank Truck. So, this is probably the craziest thing I think I've ever seen that never actually happened. A part of me wishes that this did come true, though, as because back around when the tank trucks were making their way into Monster Trucks around the mid-90s, Monster had a plan for a tank truck. Of course... 
this is off a t-shirt and it's i don't know if they were actually gonna try to do this but the fact that they went even this far and do it on a t-shirt and that this idea was even possible is just insane some apart me really wishes that this did come true Miami 2017. So originally, Miami was supposed to host the show in very early March of 2017 in the uh, Hard Rock Stadium. However, the, it never ran and got canceled. This may have been either due to the um, remodeling of Hard Rock Stadium or it's possible that um, they Hard Rock Stadium Mott Stream could not come to an agreement, so they moved it to um, the Disaster Stadium of Marlins Park, a former site that Mott used to go to 20 years before. Iron horrifyingly ironic. Minneapolis 2011. Now, Minneapolis 2011 was originally supposed to host a Mossroom show. That's why it's so low on the list, because most people don't know about that. It was actually going to host a show. Because the entire roof of the stadium collapsed literally just a little over a month before the show was supposed to take place. So obviously it halted all plans, which meant a couple of trucks that were supposed to go there actually went to the Houston Thrill Show of 2011. Although they probably didn't run the freestyles. However, what less people probably know is that, yeah, they were supposed to run there. However, due to... Uh, you know, the obvious issues, they couldn't. Green Zombie Truck. So originally, in around 2016, 2017, Monster Jam was supposed to run these um, zombie trucks. Now, they were shown in the World Vinyl 16 Encore, but because, but because Feld did Feld things, it was almost impossible to see. So, what the hell were you thinking? Anyways... The red zombie truck, which was originally supposed to be driven by Caleb Blood in Mexico. I don't think it actually ran, though. The yellow truck did run. It, it looks pretty bad. And the um, gray version zombie truck actually did run very briefly by Barry Musauer sometime in 2017. Although the most mysterious version of the truck is this green one. No very good photos of this green zombie truck actually exist. Well, until now. Yeah, normally these videos don't really end this way, but it's kind of interesting. So there, here's a couple photos. I came across a video on this, and I realized that there's a couple photos of the zombie truck. Also, there's a couple from the wiki of its post right. There's also a couple photos of it beforehand, but I don't have them right now. But yes, this is the real zombie truck that did run in the Encore. It's likely that all these trucks were supposed to run, although only two of them actually did run in real life. But yeah, that was ultimately it. So yeah, that's it for my first iceberg. Cancel, cut, censored, ban, monster jam, iceberg explained. Hope you guys enjoyed this iceberg. This is a lot, very long video. It's probably going to be horrifying to uh, actually edit. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. And um, I'll see y'all next time.